Welcome back. Now, I intended to introduce my next guest by referencing the extraordinary effectiveness of Mark Latham in the New South Wales Parliament. In the eyes of some, he's blotted his copybook this week, but in my opinion, it, he's, and it hasn't changed because of what he's done this week, he's been a very effective MP in New South Wales. The electorate seemed to think so too. It's expected uh, New South Wales Parliament will have two One Nation members, maybe even a third potentially. And in South Australia, well, they've got one in the upper house. Her name is Sarah Game. She gave a very interesting maiden speech, one which broke the One Nation mould for many of us who watch politics. However, she's also been a steadfast voice for a lot of common sense, and most notably against the South Australian voice to Parliament. She's a mum, she's a vet, she's a teacher, now a politician of one year's standing. Sarah Game from One Nation joins me now. Sarah, wonderful. Thanks for joining me on Bernardi. You've been in Parliament for a year now. Is it what you've expected? Uh, no, it's not what I expected, but I really want to make clear how much I'm enjoying it and what a massive privilege I feel it is. I think being a member of Parliament fits me personally so well that I actually don't feel like it's work. You touched on earlier that I have been a veterinarian and I've been a school teacher as well. I work in particularly disadvantaged areas. And I guess my point is, I truly have actually wanted to make a really meaningful contribution. And I saw a step into politics as an opportunity to broaden the impact that I can have. So widen my interest, mental health, child protection, education. So I'm particularly passionate about helping children do their absolute best, no matter where they're from. Yeah, it's a, it's a hugely important thing. I mean, education in, is, is critical to the success of our nation going forward. I think our teachers in too many cases are lacklustre or they get tired of it, they're not motivated to do the right thing and they're indoctrinating our youth. But you take those skills, working with animals and with children and dealing with their parents into parliament where they're all children, not all, that's a bit cruel. Um, One Nation, your policy platform has sort of expanded from where it was 20 years ago. Mark Latham's done a big thing in the education space in New South Wales. What's been your focus? Well, yes, exactly. At the moment, as you know, my focus has been being really clear about our position against the voice and that has taken up um, the majority of the time recently. But in addition to that, I think anyone that follows me will be clear that uh, looking out for our most vulnerable, so children, child protection, uh, has been a, a real priority for me. So one of the first things that I did when I got into Parliament was go around and visit a number of Category 1 schools, so those that are most socioeconomically disadvantaged, so I could really understand the challenges that the students and the teachers are having there. And also go around to, I guess, some um, homeless shelters um, and other sobering up clinics that are act like a beacon of light in our city for those that are living on the streets. So advocating for those that don't have a voice and those that are vulnerable. Can I, can I just say, this is a real surprise. I mean, that's not... When people think of One Nation, they don't think of their MPs doing that stuff. They think of the culture wars and the big battlegrounds. This is the, the stuff that truly makes a difference in people's lives. Why were you attracted to One Nation? Well, exactly. And I think that's a really good point, um, though, that I really want to uh, say, because I'm hoping people will see with me that I'm a genuine, hardworking person who really cares. And when you asked earlier, how has it been different? One of the other reasons it's been different is how well I think the party has been received and how well I've uh, been received. So that's been really important. In terms of why One Nation, what I really do love is that you always know what we stand for on a particular policy. So it's not wishy-washy. If you have a look at how the Liberal Party in this state have conducted themselves recently with regards to The Voice, we've got really no idea. I mean, look, in the end, they decided to vote no. Uh, we don't really know the reasons. I know that uh, you have had a member of the Liberal Party on here recently saying they don't agree with race-based legislation and they want everyone to be treated equally. But actually, if anyone watched the debate, they would have seen that the Liberal Party actually uh, stated a number of times in Parliament if they'd had more time or been able to consult more widely, maybe the government would have got their support. Can I tell you, it would have been a massive discussion in the party room. I'm glad they voted no or said no in yeah. the end, but uh, the battles, internal battles within the Liberal Party are legion on these sorts of issues. Sarah Game, we will talk again, I hope, and uh, you come back and we'll talk about the news on Bernardi in another time. But thank you for joining me tonight. Thank really you appreciate so much. It. My pleasure.